I've already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and the person that you're currently dealing with. Then we'll move on over and take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be and then we'll take a look and see what the outcome is. So Leo, the recent past energy between you and your person, we had justice and it's with the two of wands. Now, the Two of Wands is the card that's below the word pass. What this is telling me is that the person that you were dealing with, or this could have been you, you were trying to decide, trying to make a decision because you had two paths towards the future. Or for some of you, you could have been trying to decide between this, this person or that person. And if it wasn't this person or that person, it could have been just trying to decide on two paths, which path to choose towards the future, or trying to decide this person or some type of maybe new beginning or just some other option, not necessarily with another person. But for um, a lot of you, I'm getting that you were trying to decide between this person and that person. And what made it so difficult is because there was one that you could have been really, really interested in. Because if you look at the two of wands, his back is turned to one wand. And he's, he only has his hand tied to it. But his body language is saying yes to the other one. And he's smiling and looking in the eyes of that one. So one of these options you really, really wanted to go towards. But some type of right needed to be made some type of wrong needed to be made right before you could move forward. Because justice can, can be about doing the right thing. So something needed to be balanced out because those two scales are there or some type of right needed to happen. Some type of wrong needed to be made right. And it left you trying to decide you had two paths towards the future so let's move on over let's take a look and see what's coming up we got the nine of pentacles and we got the ace of pentacles well the ace of pentacles is about new new beginning a fresh new start um you could be having a new beginning um with someone or you could be undergoing a new beginning with your person and these are positive new beginnings when you get the ace of pentacles someone could be reaching out to you or you could be reaching out to someone wanting a fresh new start or just maybe it's someone new and it's saying it's gonna be good because it's with the nine of pentacles nine of pentacles is can be about prosperity so the connection it has great potential to grow and be prosperous and if it's with someone that you're already with it can take a turn for the better it could go to the next level or two because everyone wants a ten of pinnacles in a reading you got the nine it's just short of one pinnacle so this could be something really good ace of pinnacles and nine of pinnacles could create a whole new beginning. Very positive ones with these two cards here. And this could be that you're finally making a decision. It could be. Because there's, there's someone that you, you really focused on. They could be coming towards you or you towards them and it's saying it's going to be good. So let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is. we got the Seven of Cups. And it's with the King of Pentacles. Now, the Seven of Cups can be a card about choices. 
It does indicate confusion. It can point to disorganization, having too much going on. So when you get this card in a reading, the card that's above the word challenge, there is a need to narrow your focus because you could be trying to do too much and doing most of it not, not very well. So this is telling me that for some of you Leos, you might have to evaluate your choices. And for some of you, you, you could feel like you need to eliminate your choices because for some of you you got a lot of options there yeah but you got this new beginning that's that's coming in and it's saying it's gonna be good so for some of you Leo's all these options that you have you could be realizing that it's time to let go of these options you could be feeling this way because the King of Pentacles is here. It's about success. You could be really wanting success with this person, this new beginning that's coming in. Yeah, you feel like you really want success with, with whatever this new beginning is, whomever it is. Because you feel that it's going to bring you prosperity in a lot of ways. And the connection could go to the next level. Yeah, for some of you, you're, the person that you're dealing with, they're going to want you to eliminate your options because they want success. Yeah, just remember the roles can be switched. They can be reversed. So we move on over and take a look and see what the outcome is. Six of Wands and the Nine of Cups. Well, Six of Wands is really good. It's about victory, success recognition it can be about someone who likes attention and the other person is perfectly fine giving them the attention six of wands can't be like the type of connection where you two kind of mirror each other or you could be the type that likes attention and the other person could be perfectly fine giving you all the attention you need the two of you feed off of each other energetically. There's a lot of passion when you get the Six of Wands. A lot of sexual energy. So, this is going to make you and your person feel like this Nine of Cups. You both are going to feel like this is a wish come true. Yeah, with all this passion. And this great chemistry that you get with the Six of Wands. Yeah, both of you going to be looking at each other like, wow. You, you're going to feel like your wishes have come true. That's what you get with the Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups is good. It's going to be, a, a, it could feel like a lot of love. Those are a lot of cups there. Yeah, but like I said, your person is going to want you to eliminate all these options that you have. Or you're going to want your person to do this. And it looks like they could, they would stop all the options. They realize it's just causing disorganization and confusion. And they want success with you. Yeah, so this is actually good. A new person with this Ace of Pentacles or someone that you already know. Yeah, and it's saying it's going to be good. Things will turn, turn around for the better. If this is someone that you're already with, it goes to the next level. So that's your reading that I have for you, Leo. I hope you enjoy the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself? Best case scenario. And what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks? There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Leo, thank you so much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe these days with this virus. So stay strong. Hang in there. Take good care. I hope you guys come back and join me for the next 
for the next Leo reading, just in case this one did not resonate, maybe the next one will. Also keep in mind the roles of the people can be switched, like I said. They can be reversed, meaning you could be them or they could be you. And if you're not dealing with any, anyone romantically, if you're not, the other person could actually be a friend, a family member, a co-worker, or a situation. So just take the readings for however it resonates. Because once again, these are general readings. They are not personal readings. So, Leo, I can never say it enough. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. Hope to see you at the next reading. And take care.